Hi, my name is Stacy Peterson. I'm the Executive Director of Fresh Start Recovery Center, and I want to welcome you to our 2020 annual report. So, my name is Craig Borgland. I'm the board chair. My name is Jennifer Ken Charpentier. I am the program director, and I also help coordinate the family healing program. My name is Rennie Desjardins. Um, I'm an associate out outreach counselor here at Fresh Start. My name is Ron Jarrett. I'm a personal trainer. I've been a personal trainer for about 25 years. Summarizing 2020, in, if I could do it in one word, I would say resilient. That'd be the word I would use, resilient. How everybody came together for the greater good. I think that is one of the most beautiful thing that occurred in 2020. Seeing the unity in the house, um, going from lockdown to having some freedom back and then going to another full lockdown and just uh, seeing all, all the guys and all the staff coming together as one to fight this thing and making sure that it hasn't got in the, in the house yet. One of the biggest blessings that we received in 2020 would have to be the support that we received operationally from the provincial government. We've, we've had a lot of support in the past in terms of capital, and we're still grateful for building buildings, for those kinds of things. But operationally, we haven't experienced this, and it's a difference maker. Previous to the provincial government's announcement on February 1st, they were funding one bed. Now they're funding 30, and those 30 beds are open to anybody in the province. Well, it's not about the building, it's about the people. It's about our staff and our board and our supporters. It's about every human being that's attached themselves to who we are and what we do. They are the reason for those awards. You know, the opposite of addiction is connection, we often say. And uh, to have this uh, pandemic hit, uh, it kind of takes you out of the knees. When everything we do is reliant on the connection to others, we have uh, our group meetings, we have uh, peer support groups in the community that our residents attend every single night. The other thing that we did is um, we got busy helping. I mean, it was much like the floods. We, we have a social enterprise, we have a food truck, a 1111 uh, food truck, and when the orders came, we just pivoted that food truck and we turned it into a food delivery service. Obviously, the bottom falls out of the whole world pretty much. We took a, a couple weeks before we kind of figured out, okay, here, we can do this a different way. So we decided we were going to try video. They were in the class for 14 weeks and I never once saw them in person. I only saw them online and on video. It doesn't matter what we have going on in our lives. Individuals in recovery are incredibly resilient. I mean, when you think about it, everything that they've been through up until that point has been incredibly traumatic in active addiction. And so they come into recovery and um, this is no different. We had to step up and continue to be resilient. Wanting to ensure that everybody was safe and make decisions together as a whole and as a community to ensure everybody's safety in terms of the pandemic. It was, it's been a beautiful thing to be a part of. But in the midst of all these things being canceled, the clarion call for us was simple. Recovery is never canceled. One of the big things that occurred Right at the beginning of all of this, uh, we started discussions with the uh, South Country Treatment Center board who'd been around for 44 years and they approached us and said, you know, um, would you be interested in talking about a merger or an acquisition? You know, it's funny because his tenure and my tenure are the same. And his jersey is, is up there and his name is Tony Coco. And so his tenure jersey is sitting up there. I've been on the board for 10 years. So I've seen Tony come out of treatment, and now I've seen him 
you know, be a part of Fresh Start in an absolutely massive way. He's now running the operations down in South Country. And, you know, it's amazing what is what the potential is, you know, once your life is recovered from, from substance abuse. My name's Tony Kokel and I'm the operations manager of Fresh Start South Country in Lethbridge, Alberta. Our board looked at it, we looked at it and said, it just makes perfect sense. There's an issue in Lethbridge. We have an opportunity to expand a recovery-oriented system of care in Lethbridge. There's other great partners in Lethbridge that we can work with. And, and right away, the Lethbridge community, they've been on a whole very warm and welcoming. So we started those discussions. We took full care and control of the organization in November of 2020. So this pandemic still didn't stop us. Everything that we had to do in 2020 uh, was, was a bit different. In spite of uh, the pandemic, we tried to maintain those connections and I think we did. We went to online meetings. We brought in uh, Ron Jarrett to do his power hour. We physically distanced in our gym. We continued to offer the family healing program online. We decided to do this, I mean, really, like, think about it, everyone's been looking at their screens for the last year, you know, and uh, yeah, there was a part of us too that just wanted to be able to look you in the eye and tell you what we've been doing. There's some of the things that we can't obviously put on video, so we have our, our full donor list is on our website at freshstartrecovery.ca. Our audited financials are on our website at freshstartrecovery.ca. But it gives us an opportunity to look you in the eye and say thank you. Thank you so much for being a part of everything that we've done here. Thank you so much for being a part of these men and women's recovery. Thank you for saving their lives. Thank you for no more absent fathers and mothers and lost sons and daughters. Thank you for that. And if you're sitting and you're watching and you're thinking, well, really, I didn't have that much to do. If you've had anything to do with this, if you were watching this now, you are a part of the solution. You get to go and tell the message that recovery is real, it's attainable, and it is sustainable. Recovery does work.